Hello everyone, welcome to week four of Lenten Journey in Prayer um, coming out of Near the Cross. And this week's topic is on sacrifice and prayer, sacrifice and prayer. So I wanted to do something different um, this week and as opposed to me just dialoguing, I just wanted to have a conversation. And so I brought in Ricky and Erica and well, so we just want to chit chat a little bit about what it means to sacrifice. What does sacrifice mean to them? And what are some of the things they may have to, had to give up um, in order to gain, if you will? So let me just put that out there to you guys. Um, what, when you think of sacrifice, what, what does that mean to you? What, what, how does it hit you? What, what does it mean? To me, sacrifice is one of those things that's good for you, but at the same time, it can really stink. And it stinks sometimes because you have to, no, it's okay. well, what, 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 what do you mean by stinks? Now, that's pretty harsh. Yeah, that's pretty harsh. So, well, some sacrificing can, can, can be kind of cruddy because sometimes a person has to sacrifice but it's not up to them. Like this decision has been made for them. Okay. So, uh, 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 so you talk like a forced sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Somebody has sacrificed, has forced you to give up something that's important to you. Right. Or through their actions, you end up having to sacrifice something. Whether the action is a good thing or a bad thing. So, for instance, if, if your parent is a doctor... Or if your spouse or something is a doctor, you will have to sacrifice some of that time with them because they're over here trying to save lives. But at the same time, that's one of those things that you don't really have a say about. It's been kind of decided for you. So if your parents were pastors or yeah. in ministry, what about that? Mm -hmm. I kind of sense something <laughs> going on here. She's on it. <laughs> Well, okay, since since the sensing, if your parents are pastors or ministers, as a child, no matter the age, you have to sacrifice your parents. You have to sacrifice time spending with them. There are times when you want to be with your friends, but you have to be at the church or whatever meeting that they're at or whatever event it is, you may have to go. And that's one of those things like if you're a certain, if you're a person of a certain age, you don't get a say. Testify. <laughs> you don't get a say. It's it's the family has now, what, what y'all call it? The family is now uh, called to ministry. Okay. When the whole family might didn't want to be called to ministry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. All right. So, so... So sacrifice for you has somewhat of a, mm, a bitter, mm, a bitter, not so taste. pleasant taste. Yes. Okay. All right. So what about you, Rick? I understand when, when Erica says that sacrifice can have a bitter taste because, I mean, sacrifice is not something you want to give up. It's something that you have to give up or something you see the greater good in giving up. Not that you're... Yay, I'm jumping to sacrifice stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, so if I can, and this is always my testimony, always go back to a couple of years ago when um, I had another job working at Verizon and it was a high paying job. But even though I was there and I was feeling blessed financially, I wasn't at the church. I wasn't where my heart truly was. I wasn't able to make meetings. I wasn't able to, you know, teach a Bible study. I wasn't able to run classes, you know, the things that really gave me true life. I wasn't able to do that. So I was, I was feeling like I was, I was suffocating, you know, even spiritually, I was feeling like I was suffocating spiritually. And then I had to make a decision, you know, are you going to stay where you are, you know, and stay on this whole corporate path or whatever, or are you going to go back to what gives you life and what makes you happy? And I had to make that decision and I had to sacrifice you know, the higher paying job to go back to the lower paying job, but the benefit of being able to work at the church. And yeah, it, it is a sacrifice when you're doing things for the gospel and you still living in your mom's basement. So, I mean, that, that was a sacrifice. 
but it was okay what's what's better for you to have your own place and to not have any spiritual life or any true happiness or you to have financial happiness have your own crib or what yeah i i get what eric is saying when she's saying sac sacrifice does come with a price yes it does and you may not always recognize the benefit right away because sometimes you'll make the sacrifice and then you start to second guess yourself like did i really make the right choice right so, I, I mean, I, I get it, but at the same time, I think when you really seek God and make a true sacrifice, it always pays out in the end. Okay. So, like he was he was saying, he made the statement that all of us make sacrifices. That um, and, the, and the statement that he made was, we, we all make sacrifices, um, but our sacrifices, the sacrifices that we make sometimes are for a lesser God. So would you say you giving up, um, would you say you giving up Verizon uh, was for a lesser God and that lesser God would be a place of your own um, so that you could, so that you could gain a greater relationship with God? I'm going to say kind of no. Um, I, I get it in terms of, uh, of, a lesser God, but I would, I would say kind of no, because I mean, it was something that I've been praying for. Okay. So if it's something that I was praying for and something I was seeking God for, and it was something that actually literally fell right into my lap, I'm thinking, God, you, you meant for me to have this okay. initially, you know, for me to find out, well, maybe this was you testing me. So, um, I don't know if it was a, a lesser God, because I mean, if you keep on praying to God earnestly about things and seeking God's face about something and you think you have an answer, I can't say it's, it's lesser. Yeah. Okay. You know, so what do you think it, it means when we're talking about that all of us sacrifice something, but we often sacrifice to a lesser God? I mean, what does that mean to you? For me, it made me think about in the mornings <laughs> when I should be getting ready to go to work. Or communing more with God, I'm on my phone. So to me, my phone okay. is my lesser God. It, it really has no importance to me. I really don't like having a phone. Well, I mean, you know. I get what you're saying. It's, that is my lesser God. Okay. All right. So, so at the bottom line, I guess when we're talking about sacrifice, especially from a biblical perspective, the sacrifice... Um, that's made reference to in our study for this week is basically talking about giving up something that's important. Doesn't mean that it's bad, but it's giving up something that is dear, uh, could be valuable. Um, well, I shouldn't say could be valuable. It is always valuable. Sacrifice, true sacrifice is always giving up something that is truly, truly valuable in order to gain something, in order to gain a greater relationship with God. Um, so when we look at it from that perspective of true sacrifice, of having a greater relationship with God, um, how does that, how does that uh, um, change or um, strengthen your viewpoint regarding sacrifice, especially where you were coming from. So sacrificing something to get closer to God, uh, when I think about it more now, it's, it's not as bad because ultimately whatever you, whatever it is that you have to sacrifice, to me, God is going to put something in that spot that's going to be 10 times better than what you gave up. <laughs> So Ricky, where 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 do you take it? How how do you see it? Yeah, I agree. Uh that yes, when you sacrifice something for God and when you sacrificed it in earnest or in honesty and you're not doing it just to see what the see what you can get out of it, when you're like, God, okay, I know I need to give up something because I want to be closer with you. Yes, God honors that. Um I remember we had a it was a preacher that we had at the church. And he said that obedience um, demands a reward. Mm -hmm. And it's true that, you know, when you honestly are obedient to what God is leading you to do, God will reward you. So for me, you know, yeah, I gave up Verizon because I wanted to be obedient to God and, you know, to be just spiritually fulfilled. 
Um, and in the end, God blessed me with a job that, that topped anything else I've ever had. So, you know, so bottom line, um, when we're talking about sacrifice, um, the truth is we, we all make sacrifices and uh, it's a matter of deciding what sacrifices that we want to make. And in this week uh, of study, of course, the focus is on that issue where we would need to or we should consider what things that we want to give up in order to gain a closer relationship with God in order to become stronger in our faith walk. Um, so it gives us something to ponder, you know, do I, do I give up some extra time of sleep in order to get up so I can have more time in, in reading the scripture or, you know, do I give up some, some time of just wanted to just, just to kick back maybe in order to go out and help someone else. So, um, those are things to consider as we um, go through this particular week and, and as we reflect on, on sacrificing and and th and as we can think about what, what Paul said in Philippians 3 and 7, he said, these things were my assets, but I wrote them off as a loss for the sake of Christ. And I guess it's something for all of us to think about is what are those things that we will write off for the sake of Christ? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this discussion, um, this very brief discussion, and I hope it will give you some things to think about. And uh, why don't you join in the discussion and just leave some comments um, in the comments section. Uh, we really would like to hear back from you. Okay, thank you and see you next week. <music>